Hey people, it's me Jeffro and I'm recording this video on the YouTube app um, via the record function itself. I'm just going to see whether um, this would turn out well. Um, I just came back from a badminton session and for some of you who might already know this, I actually sprained my ankle a couple of months back. Um, that was not the first time that I sprained it. I actually had another uh, incident about a year plus ago and that this more recent one actually made it a little bit worse. In fact, um, doctors actually suspected that uh, it was a ligament injury which prolonged the entire recovery by itself. What I noticed in this period of time is that as I was recovering from sprain uh, and this ankle, uh, this entire um, ligament injury thing is that my body automatically shifted itself to balance up. Um, so it was leaning more on the left side in order not to burden the right foot. And because of that, um, once my body got so used to it, as it heals or it, it, it gotten better, uh, I got so used to being a little bit lopsided. <laughs> um, so I don't know whether you've uh, encountered that before, but it's not fun when you're slightly off balance. So when I do squats, when I do a little bit of exercise here and there, I notice that the body automatically goes into a defense mechanism where it leans on the left side. So now that my left side is a little bit more stronger in in that sense um, trying to get back into a more balanced state you know between the left and right it's a conscious effort and it, it takes a lot of energy out of it uh, and so tonight was one of the biggest challenge because um, it has been six months since I last played badminton and it it is crazy right um, the more I wanted to do it previously, the worse the situation gets because I was forcing it too quickly. Um, I'm a little bit impatient when it comes to uh, getting active. And when I had an injury at first, uh, it took me about four weeks not doing anything at all. And th that was just crazy because imagine you're an active person and then you can't do anything and anything else seems to be like too uh, burdening to, to the food. And then one month lead to another month and I decided, you know, let, let's try something out. Uh, and I went for like a trampoline jump and then I injured it again <laughs> and, and it became worse and my body got scared even further um, that it didn't want to even exert pressure on the right foot. So I ended up learning a lot of things like learning how to drive my left foot only. Uh, that, that's another thing uh, to talk about. But, you know, let's not dwell there. And I got so used to that uh, conditioning. And many months later, um, six months later actually, I decided to go for my first badminton session, which is tonight. And I realized that no matter how much I would like to play normally, um, the moment I jump, it's also on the left side. And the more I try to control it, the harder it is and it gets so tiring mentally as well, uh, that it became less enjoyable. I mean, the, the, more, the, the ones that the thing that was so enjoyable tonight was actually being welcomed back by uh, my court mates, you know, who have played with me before and they, they just welcome me like, oh, welcome back, bro, like, good to see you, you know, how's things and stuff. And that just felt so good. I mean, way better than the session that I had. Uh, and, and to be true, like, I only played three games and these three games I couldn't run much because um, I know that there is a, a certain restriction and I know that I'm a little bit scared that I, if I were to injure it right now again, that it might go even a longer period to recover. Um, so what really struck me is that in most cases, aren't we all bound by our fears in, in this way? Like when we make a certain mistake, like we, we make a bad boo-boo, like uh, we fail in something or we make a terrible mistake, we punish ourselves so much that we create this blockage, mental barrier, this belief system that we cannot do it again, right? And, you know, if we do it again, it's going to be painful and we can fail again and again and again and we just want to avoid that completely and therefore we don't do that, right? Even if it's something that we like or we think will give us the results, we end up not doing it at all because we failed for the first time. It's like my ankle, you know, when it got injured for the first time, I didn't want to injure it again. And even though I like going into action and stuff, uh, and I tried it again and I got injured and it became even longer, six months out of badminton games and stuff, that's a long time. 
I mean, for those of you who don't play, I don't play serious badminton, but I just like being in a court with people. And yeah, and, and, and so that, that was my, my dilemma, right? So for a lot of people that I noticed that once they've gotten into a bad crisis, like an injury to their ankle, like a ligament injury, they stop doing that all together. And, and this is sad because it could be the, the very thing that leads them into a whole different life. It could be the very thing that gives them the outcome that they want, the future that they desire, but because of one small incident and they give up the whole thing. And what's more funny is, because, what's funnier is that I came across people who are much older than me and they had that same experience many years before and they tell me how much they wish they could have done something about it and now it's too late. Yeah, if if I don't do anything about my ankle and I just leave it like that, you know, being lopsided and and all, it will be too late. Six months is a long it's a long time for me. But six years is an even longer time if I let it be that way. I could choose not to do anything. I could choose to be very comfortable, sit at home, lying on my bed, you know, and just relaxing, but I will not get any healthier. Food alone does not change much. Mental alone doesn't change my physical condition. Exercise does. And I, 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 this is very important. And I just thought that, you know, sharing this version and this perspective would help you as well. Like, all you got to do is just give it one more go. You may fail. Just understand that you may fail. You may come across a lot of issues. You may, you may have heartbreaks again in whatever that you, you want to pursue. But, it might just be worth it. Tonight was very worth it because people welcomed me. I, I felt like, man, I'm alive again. Like I could just do it again. And yes, this is the mark. This is the start of me coming back into, you know, sports and stuff. You know, Take it one step at a time. I'm not going to rush it. I'm not going to like go for uh, tournaments or whatever it is. But one step at a time, I'm getting into the game. And that's what matters. Like, if you like doing something and you've experienced a bad thing in the past, it's okay. Know that it is okay. Everyone goes through a certain bad moment in their life. If you like doing it and you think that it might just benefit you, do it again, one step at a time, and see. Now, if you don't really like it at all, give it up. Put it aside. Be ready to say no to it. But don't say no until you've really given it a shot. That is so, so important, people. Like my friends, you owe it to yourself to at least give yourself a chance and a shot to doing something incredible for yourself. Well, that's all the message that I have for you. I'm going to prepare to go to sleep and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.